Hello and welcome back to ETS2. Follow my career, fuck our freights as we continue our Conquering Britain series. You join us in Norwich. We are at our Home Depot. I've not done anything since we left off last time other than come to the depot, top off on fuel. We've done no jobs, we've got no extra cash. We've had a little sleep through the night. So let's go out there and let's go find ourselves a job. Let's go. So I've managed to find us a couple of contracts Pulling some grains out of one of the agri sites on the ag on the edge of town, on the edge of the city. So we're heading there. Just trying not to speed. There's a 40 here. Jump down to a 30. This is where everyone gets caught out with their speeding tickets. So yes, yeah, it's, it's just up around the way, as you can see on the GPS axis. It's just a short trip ahead. Um, they had, I think, um, rye That's and barley for delivery from here. Second exit. Going to one going to Sheffield and one going to Dover. So I'm going to double check, see which one's worth the most, and that'll be the one we run today. Exit now. Okay, that'll make the most sense for us. Get ready to turn right. It is nice being home. I did enjoy the little drive round from the uh, from the Tesco's drop off. I took quite a few uh, turn right. <laughs> quite a few screenshots of the hometown. From Syngenta. So where we are. This so we'll is where up it here. Ends. I'm sure both of these jobs were here. So yeah, we've got Sheffield, Dover, and um, Saria in Italy. So I think we're going to take the Sheffield job. It's nearly seven grand. As you can see, we're up to 326 again. So the uh, the sleep through the night did do us well. I'm going to see if we can get a slightly larger one of those trailers. Possibly not. Oh, there is. That should be worth more for us if we can run that one. A little bit more. Not a lot more, but a little bit more. So we shall... Uh, yeah, we'll take that. So that's rye. 26 tonnes of rye. So our trailer's just around the back here to our right. So I think I'm going to... Turn left and try and back in onto it that way. We did get a little warning asking us, are we sure we want to uh, run this heavy load? But we'll be fine with it. It's not like we are on the continent and we've got some crazy hills to get up and down through parts of France and Spain and Italy and you know out on the Eastern Europe as well. We've got some sort of funny terrains out there. So this is this is England. It's pretty flat. Even the hilly bits are flat. Let's get this job done. Indeed, let's get this job done. Let's get on the road. On the road. It is early morning. It is 7.42. We've got plenty of daylight for this one as well. Let's bring that out here nicely. Try and... Not to collide with anything. It is a bit long. Right. <laughs> it's longer than I thought. They were right to question whether I really wanted to uh, to run it or not. Traffic seems a little bit quiet. Good job as well. Look at how much that took to uh, get us on the go. I can't imagine we'll be covering any new roads with this one today. Some of these jobs are more now Turn to help right. keep the money ticking over in the background because our workers, obviously, being about 12, 13 of them, are earning a lot more money in a day than what I'm earning in a day. So it's, it's keeping them them live and, and keeping them delivering is <laughs> has now become the, my, my sole purpose of driving the roads is, uh, is to keep my workers on the road as well at the same time. You never know, by the end of today we could have enough money for another truck and another driver. We were starting to fill our Galway garage out. We got, I think we got one or two uh, trucks and drivers for Galway last time out. Looks pretty clear to me. Let's just keep rolling. Keep left. Yeah, roads are very, very empty. I thought this as I was travelling around when I came in. 
I don't know if there's been a little update and that may have reset some settings possibly. I'll jump in and have a look afterwards, so I'm not worried about it now. If we have some clear empty roads, I'm, I'll take that as a win, to be fair, with uh, my sort of talent. But anyway, before we get any further, I hope you're all well. Thank you very much for coming back and joining us on this one. Obviously, we are not having a live stream this morning. My partner will be at work. I did wonder whether or not to... Um, Spoon and maybe do the live stream in the evening about eight nine o'clock but that's when my friend simu dad owner of sd logistics up the top there the owner of sd logistics will be doing well most likely doing his um ats convoy and in that we share an audience and i don't want to take away from him at his regular regular slot and i don't expect people to just sort of stop watching him to come and watch me i don't like to try and clash with people that I like <laughs> you know someone's always streaming when you're streaming but if you've got someone who is also you know we, we moderate for each other we want you know we enjoy each other's content uh, we play multiplayers together and stuff like that so it just seems silly to try and um, stream over each other so I'm squeezing this one in it's actually Saturday night right now it is half past eight so this video will be going live in about 14 hours. Got to get this out, got to get it done. Get these journeys in. So I haven't had a lot of time to do the extras. I have been, I have been enjoying, dare we say it, Truck and Logistics Simulator. Now that's obviously not going to be uh, as long a series as this. It's, it's going to be quite a short series. But I tell you what. I'm enjoying it for what it is. I am really enjoying truck and logistics. The the whole loading your own trailer and your loads is pretty cool. Uh, the only thing I'd say is there's not enough varying loads, unfortunately, not enough varying cargoes to be loading yourself. And you know, there's like in this, you know, there's there's a set amount of cargo types and trailers, um, but we've got a lot of mods that you can add in. For different loads and also you know you can reskin everything so everything could be different different companies and what have you whereas in truck and logistics it's not that deep of a game as fun as the gameplay loop is and it is really fun it is proper chilled a lot like this i like these just, just build relax just have a little drive cruise around make some money work on your company build up them stacks things like that and that's pretty much all truck and logistic is, just with the added, the, um, where is it? There we go. Because I felt sure we had some traffic behind us. Let them know that we were slowing. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. It's earning your money to get your next vehicle. And uh, that's sort of my goal with that series. If you haven't watched it yet, please go check it out. Um, we're just trying to earn enough money so we can try out at least one of every type of vehicle in the game. Um, you get, there's cars, there's minivans, there are pickup trucks. We've got a um, rigid box uh, truck. We've got... Keep right. And what else is it? Obviously, you've got your regular... Uh, truck tractor units uh, we've got three different sizes in that as well so they all they do all have different loads assigned to them and some of the the, the loads and everything are like compatible with different things so obviously going down in size uh, but you go from stacking a few boxes on the back of a trailer or in the back of your van to having to load the vehicles on a on a vehicle trailer um, recently, I was um, ready to turn right. you jump in a skid steer and you're, you're picking up bricks off a building site and loading them into the back of a trailer. There is a right. dump truck that you can purchase. Um, I haven't got there yet, but I'm looking forward to doing that. So you obviously go on site and you have to use some, um, I think it's a wheel loader. Use a wheel loader to load up the dump truck and get all the rubble in there and stuff. So it's, it's fun, it's interesting. It's, it's you know it's a light-hearted simulator. It's on the arcade end of simulators. It really is. 
but there's enough to it that is fun. The wheel works really well with it. You have to sort of tune it in a little bit, but the wheel works well with it. Visually, obviously, it's not on the level of something like ETS and ATS. This is a game that is primarily aimed at a console audience, I believe. So, you know, it's, it's limited on a licensed brand. You know, like all trucking games, it's got an MAN in it, it has Scania in it, and it's got some fake Range Rovers and a fake um, Mercedes and a fake Renault in there, and a few other, you know. Look at this, this should be a Ford type thing. But it's, uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Like I say, it's not going to go on forever. But I'm enjoying it while it lasts. I'm, I'm enjoying it that much, so I'm quite way ahead on my schedule with it. Again, this is another one that's sort of quite, quite easy to just get into. Because it's not as realistic, it's not as taxing. Uh, just get on it. Half an hour, I can do a couple of deliveries, earn some money, and, you know... Have a bit of fun with it. The speed is pretty cool. <laughs> Get a few vehicles that are, are, are very quick. And like I say, the handling is pretty good. For the game that it is and the type of game it is, the handling is pretty good on it. But yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with that. It's by no means a replacement for this or ATS. Not that we've got a lot of ATS on the channel at the minute. I keep thinking I need to do like a, a, a long ATS run. We'll do like... Texas to Washington or something. I just need a, a nice empty evening to be able to do it in because it takes a while. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me try a, a Texas to Washington State run on ATS and I'll try and get one recorded. I say Texas because I believe that's where I'm stuck at at the minute with no, with no money. <laughs> oh dear, we get some stutters. A lot going on today, I guess. Nice, easy run. Easy run today to Sheffield. What are we looking at here? Uh, four hours and 15 minutes left. 200 miles to go. There we have it. 8,724 8, pounds. We do have uh, 10 hours to do the job in. We've got less than, or just, just over four hours to run it. So it's nice and easy. It's quarter past 10 on a Friday morning. 26 tons of rye. Sheffield to DB Schenker. Not going to grumble at that. Oh, it did tell us how predicted arrival time. Oh no, it's just when we're expected, is it? Yeah. We'll probably get there about 2 o'clock, I should imagine. We're not going to hammer it. Uh, but, well, mainly because of the weight. It's, uh, it's quite a weight we're pulling. Does look nice. Coming into the Midlands already. By the looks of it. Oh no, we're not. We're still coming to Cambridge. I was going to say us. That's gone quick. Considering the same, we've got four hours to go. Come on, get past me, Mister Mini. I'm going to grumble about it. I hate these junctions. These are not British junctions. Not in the slightest. I really don't like them. They always catch me out because they are not the junctions we have. I want to slow down too much for the climb because I'll struggle to pick up speed again if this hill continues. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Well managed, that man. Right. Let's see if we can slowly build up again. Going, going, going. So, Gamescon has been. I think today's the last day of Gamescon when this goes out. Um, I've enjoyed some of the games that we've seen. I've not been impressed with a mass number of them. The, the next game from Saber in the in the Mud Runner Snow Runner Expeditions type series that I'm excited about that looks awesome. Um, it's called Roadcraft. 
It looks, it looks so good. So good. New interactive environments, new way of managing vehicles, and you've also got a little bit of um, AI mon management with vehicles, so you can call vehicles out to, to join you as well. You set, you set like the route for them, and they'll follow it. So you can be out there with one vehicle, and then you call on another vehicle from your your garage or wherever to come out and meet you to do a different job. It's got more dynamic terrain. You can you can like bring over uh, sand and fill in and pack out and create roads. You, can, you could tarmac small stretches of road. Like, just create the terrain, rebuild it. It's this is it. It's a uh, you know a destroyed, washed out, stormed area again. And from what we've seen in that first bit, and you just sort of you're repairing it and you're recovering stuff. That looks cool. I did like the look of that. Also, um, a new Mafia game. Now, I haven't finished Mafia 3 yet. <laughs> it's another one that just sits there with only about an hour's worth of gameplay on it. I really enjoyed Mafia when it came out on 360. And uh, a chap they often talk about on the channel, which did a recent uh, re-review of Definitive Edition of Mafia, I think because it's on Game Pass. They've got the remastered version on Game Pass. I might go back and try that, whether I do that in my own time or whether I think there's something I might try and force on you guys, probably not on you guys. I'll put it on my other channel that I'm secretly putting stuff on. But yeah, I might have a try and play at that if I can get get the time to do it. I did say to him that I, I might have to try and replay the whole trilogy. Because I can't remember what happens in 1 and 2. I know I enjoyed them. I think 2 was a little bit harder, but I know that I enjoyed playing them. And 3 was good. It's just that I had a lot of games on the go when I started 3. So yeah, new Mafia game. And it's set, it's, um, it's called the home, 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 the Homeland or something. So it's set in Italy, or set in Sicily it should be, shouldn't it? So I just, I just think that looks cool. The Motherland, the Father, I thought this was the Fatherland. Motherland maybe? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, new Mafia game, looks cool. But that got to be interested. Obviously, we've seen um, a little bit more about uh, FS25. Not as much as I thought we were going to see. Not at the minute, anyway. You know, something could come out Sunday, Saturday night, Sunday. Perhaps Giants might release, or Giants might release post GamesCon. They might be recording stuff while they're there and then release it next week, maybe. I don't know. I'm in the partner program and I don't know. Like the only information that was released, obviously, was a blog, maybe two blogs, and two small trailers, and some some what they call B-roll footage that they put out to partners to create. With um, I did a did a deep not oh, deep dive, I did a deep dive into spinach. I'm looking forward to spinach. I I did um, a breakdown and analysis, an opinion sharing on what we saw and what we were offered. So if you haven't seen that and you're interested in FS25, go check that out. It's on the channel. I'll probably, I might put, it, put a link in the description or down in the comments to it. I wouldn't mind getting a few more eyes on that and a few more opinions as well, see what people are thinking about the game. So yeah, that, that was interesting. But other than that, I mean, there isn't much else that's, that jumped out at me. Uh, there's the... Um, so I forget what they're called. Atom, it was Atom something. And it's based in England after like nuclear fallout. But it's not like the, the crazy nuclear fallout that we get like with Chernobyl. Chernobyl um, looks good as well. Uh, Stalker 2, the Chernobyl game. But the, uh, yeah, this uh, Atom something, is, I forget. I'll, I'll probably stick it up in editing. I'll, I'll go search it. Um, but that looks good. What well, I was, go you know, straight. watching the live stream and in the chat, it's people, oh, they're... Oh, boring, boring. It looked like a modded fall, uh, Fallout. It looks like modded Skyrim. It's, like it's, it's a completely different thing. Engine, and someone said, "Oh, this is this is like a, a really bad Call of Duty 2 uh, mod." Like just because there was a gun in it. Like it's not even that. It's, a, it's an exploration mystery game. There just happened to be a gun in this bit of the, of the footage that they were sharing. People, you know, weren't listening. But people don't, do they? But yeah, that, that looks good. I, I feel bad that I can't remember what it was called. Atom something. 
know what else was there? I'm trying to think what else we saw that was that really that's the thing, like nothing real nothing made me go, oh wow. Which seems a shame. It really does. Obviously there's um more updates to Starfield that I've got to hopefully get to show and get into um, with my Starfield series. I know that doesn't pull many viewers, not many eyes on that. <laughs> maybe maybe 30 people per episode, but I'm determined to go through it because I absolutely love the game. And I'm, I'm going through it slowly because it's the only time I have and there's no point in me putting out three or four um, one to two hour episodes a week for only 30 views of video. So I just do it for myself and I do it once a week. But I'm enjoying that. There's a new Dying Light game coming out. Uh, the Beast. I believe it's called Dying Light The Beast. Which sort of picks up from where the first one finished. And, spoiler alert, in the first one, you were left with a choice of, like, killing yourself or allowing yourself to turn. So, since you are the same character, I'm guessing that the canon for the real finish is allowing yourself to turn into some sort of zombie hybrid, and you are the beast. So you're like a bit of a the hunter in it, and you you're fighting everything from well, it looks like humans to uh, to zombies. That looks good, um, but you know, Treyarch did did really good things with uh, the Dying Light games. So if, an, another instalment, I've got no problem with that. But it's all a little bit much the same, just with a new story. But yeah, I can't think of anything else. I think, you know, the Super is quite a big event this year. I feel I'm, 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 either I missed stuff, but I don't think I did, because I, I subscribed to all the gaming um, publishers and a lot of developers on YouTube. Plus, um, I subscribe to both Xbox and PlayStation, so all the all the previews and trailers and that get posted twice to my sub feed. So I'll, I'll have a look through that. I think afterwards to see if there's anything else that caught my eye, and maybe we'll talk about it next time. Or down in the comments, if you watched it, if you were interested in other games other than maybe the trucking and the farming, was there anything at Gamescom that caught your eyes, or anything that I've missed? You know, what did you think? What are you looking forward to in the coming sort of 12, 18 months, really? Because that, that was, the, they were the three or four, and that was it. Obviously, Farm Sim was always going to be there to catch my eye, so keep an eye on it. Keep left. But yeah, the rest, the rest was a little bit, hmm. Like the Diablo 4 stuff looks good. I know Diablo 4 didn't Go get straight. good. Uh, Good reviews because of the microtransactions, a little bit pay to win type stuff, and, and all that at the beginning. I think they sorted a lot of that out, and the game looks really good. The game does look good. But I, it's a game that I just do not have the time to get into as much as I really enjoyed Diablo 2. I played quite a bit of Diablo 3 on my console. I've not played it on PC. I played uh, Diablo 2 on PC, Diablo 3 on console. I haven't touched Diablo 4 just because I knew I wouldn't have the time to do it because it's one of those ones where you got to get in it, you got to grind on it, and, and do a lot. If you really want to enjoy it and you really want to progress, you need to be on it a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. And unless there's something that's gone out this evening that I've not seen, or if there's still stuff to do Sunday that I've not seen, nothing yet from Elder Scrolls 6. I just wonder whether we can get a little something because we got teased Elder Scrolls 6 so long ago and I'm sure many of you watching this probably aren't interested in the RPGs and stuff like that but I absolutely love the Elder Scrolls series. I like anything that Bethesda does to be fair. There's not much that they put out that I don't enjoy. Fallout, Elder Scrolls, Starfield, even um, Wolfenstein. I like the Wolfenstein series, although that got a little bit, a little bit ropey near the end. It's getting a bit overcast. I think it might rain on us. We do have that increased rain. I don't think we've had a lot of rain in the last few runs, to be fair. So we maybe do some. 
IRL. It has poured rain here today. It's been miserable. It's been like an like an autumn, an autumn's day today, not a summer's day. You would have mistaken today for October. Not not pleasant at all. To the point that I even had a hoodie on earlier on. I've not got one on now. I'm quite warm sitting in a PC room. But, yeah, I had my hoodie on earlier. Oh, don't lag out on me. Don't make me crash. Because that'll be my excuse. <laughs> so where are we going? A bit further on, I think. I think I need to be... Over, over. I think I've got the wrong, Go wrong glasses on this evening. It's not as clear as it was before. That way they need cleaning. You sort of stuck through that. I think I'm going in here. Keep right, and then turn right. I am turning right here. DB shh. Thank you. Is that this place, or is that the next one? It's the next one. Sorry to the traffic behind me. Yeah. Turn right. I know it's not like me to uh, get confused and pull into the wrong place, is it? Oh, we've got an easy park as well. We like that. Thank you very much. Right on time. Right on time. We're like got a four-hour window, mate. I can spend the rest of the day. Trying to park this trailer if I want to, don't need to, because it's in on a casual drive in. How about that? Let's drop that off, handbrake on, engine off. So we got 8,724. We're going our way up to level 40, level 42, level 32. Man, it's taken me a long time to get these levels in then. These short jobs are not getting us very far. And I think we will go for a new truck. It always it makes sense as soon as we got the money, get the new truck in. Uh, we made over a million over the last seven days. Profit is good. We're up to 392 grand. So if we go to services, truck dealer, we are in the Volvo. Doesn't matter. Apply online. We want our fleet configuration. This is right hand drive. We shall purchase 262 grand. And we shall send that to Galway again. Galway's not, it's not going to be a an overly productive um, garage to that one just because of where it's situated. I would probably be better off filling out Norwich to be fair. I think if, well, we can stick another one in Edinburgh actually. Edinburgh's a little bit better for money. So we'll do that. I'm going to stick one in Edinburgh. Okay. So then we want to go to recruitment agency hire a driver again not very well skilled all 1.7s uh, we've, we've, we've employed a lot of uh, men lately so should we get Anna since it doesn't make much difference I think she's got the, the fuel and she's got distance hasn't she so she's actually got the better skills that we need so we'll take Anna and Anna can go and move to Edinburgh. Off you go, girl. Excellent. And we're still on 128 grand, which is nice. But that will be our delivery today. That'll be our episode. A little bit of money, a little bit of growth. It all goes a long way. I'll probably head over there and uh, grab a night at the hotel. We'll stay in town, get something to eat, and then we'll head out in the morning. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Like I say, let me know in the comments what you thought about Gamescom, what you think about FS25, and also, have you tried Truck and Logistic? It's a fun one. If you have enjoyed this one, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.